Local reporter Liz Bonus is here to tell us what kind of accommodations were needed to make sure they got the urgent care they needed. Liz. Hey guys, good evening. Emergency medicine specialists activated part of a disaster plan this weekend shortly after this nightclub shooting. It started with an emergency notification system called DisasterNet. That's a radio system which notifies the hospitals there's been an event with multiple injuries. Beyond that, however, each hospital has to adapt, likely to a situation they have never experienced until now. We always plan that it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. The win came early Sunday morning as hospitals were notified of multiple injuries at the Cameo nightclub. Those most severely injured were transported by ambulance to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. They have a trauma team with staff always on standby. Dr. Dustin Calhoun told me today his team was ready and plans for this kind of chaos. It's adjustable for the particular circumstances, but it is a plan ahead of time. Everybody knows what their role is. But part of the community plan is to make sure all of those injured don't all go to the same hospital. So others were transported or drove themselves to the Christ Hospital, Mercy Health, and Bethesda North. So there seemed to be some confusion about perhaps not enough emergency vehicles, but you said it's not unusual in cases like these for patients to drive themselves for care? About 40% of patients in a disaster will arrive by themselves, by car. And that's what happened here at Bethesda North. Johan says many of those who drive themselves have run from the initial scene. Now, sometimes it's people who maybe sprained an ankle running. So it might not be somebody who was involved in the shooting um, but collateral injuries are not uncommon. Both Johan and Dr. Calhoun say they do believe the disaster activation system worked, partly because they planned for some of these extras. The functioning was flawless. When we get pre-notification like we did with this, where we had several minutes notice, um, we get together, organize who's going to be where, who's going to be doing what, pull in some people from other parts of the department if necessary, um, and then make it flow. He told me that, you know, several minutes notice for them is actually a lot of time. And part of that flow is actually planning for walk-ins that we talked about. You heard uh, Randy mention those as well. They tend to be not as severely injured as those transported. So the team has to be careful that there's enough staff for all. Dustin was kind enough, by the way, to talk to us after being up for quite a few hours treating patients in the last 24 hours. Paula? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Liz. Even though the disaster planning did work well, the team say that they are constantly reevaluating, looking for ways to do things better, and they will do that again after this nightclub show.